Lisa's remains are located beneath concrete in the backyard of 827, Nanaimo Lakes Road. Same location as the first house party Lisa was taken to, right across the street from Colliery Dam Park. 49.14502 North, by 123.97504 West. Adjacent to the back of the house, a four-square-foot concrete pad was poured atop the grave. It was further concealed by planting a garden above, later unearthed by new owners. Over the years, the awkward little patio had various uses, mostly as home to a picnic table. But didn't they already search that property? Yes, they did, at least three times. The first two searches took place in December 2020. This is the property Nanaimo RCMP officers spent yesterday searching. Police aren't saying what they were looking for, but confirmed the search was in relation to the disappearance in 2002 of 21-year-old Lisa Young. It was the second time this month police searched the Nanaimo Lakes Road property. Satellite photos already had me confident in the accuracy of my information about Lisa's burial. The neighbor's chilling report only reinforced it further. None of the neighbors were willing to go on camera, but one neighbor recalls seeing what looked like a body in a hammock in the backyard of 827 Nanaimo Lakes Road around the time that Lisa Young went missing. Soon after, he says he saw equipment moving a lot of soil around in the backyard. He says he reported this to police at the time. In the 2020 search, RCMP stated they utilized ground-penetrating radar, a police dog, and a search team. This sounds great, but let's take a closer look. Why didn't they find the grave? 1. A police dog is not the same as a cadaver dog. There are very few cadaver dogs in Canada. The first one, Doc, joined Saskatchewan RCMP in 2016. Nanaimo RCMP brought, Luca, along for the search. Luca is good at chasing bad guys. But she can't locate a body that has been buried deep below concrete, for 20 years. 2. Ground penetrating radar can't scan through concrete. GPR can be used to test within concrete for structural faults, only since the radar waves bounce back from the other side. Standard procedure of police forces everywhere is to first, remove concrete, before scanning with GPR. We know that this didn't happen, as shown in this satellite image from 2022. 3. Ground penetrating radar does not work on wet ground. Moisture in the ground absorbs radio waves, which drastically reduces accuracy of GPR scans. November and December are the wettest months of the year on Vancouver Island. In the days leading up to the RCMP's GPR scan, it had rained on 27 of the previous 30 days, and it had been raining for 11 days nonstop. For these reasons, and others, those 2020 searches had no chance of success. Some time later, RCMP quietly returned to the property for another search. They likely used a resistivity scan method, where electrodes are stuck into the ground, to detect objects in between them. Why didn't they find the grave? Again. Resistivity methods scan a straight line between electrodes, or an area between several electrodes. The burial location's position, adjacent to He House, would make it impossible to suitably surround the grave for scanning. 